it's time for Jamie Satterfield's annual trip to North Country Outfit. And he loves going up there and hunting those big spring black bears and that chance at a true color phase. One in three bears in this part of the country are a color phase and Jamie's looking to try to get his first one. When you want to hunt big bears, you got to head up to Alberta. North Country Outfit and Jamie's proven it time and time again. They've got some giants. Let's go to Alberta. An animal, true to its ferocious nature, is savage and untamed, uninhabitable, and unwelcoming place is savage. A relentless, fierce, wild person is savage. Savage. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy, and Field and Stream, where traditions begin. All right, we are up in Alberta. Jamie's with North Country Outfit in one of his favorite hunts of the year. And he's up there bear hunting again. This week we got a special treat though. We got Matt Kenseth, the number 20 driver, hunting with Jamie. Matt got up a day early, wanted to head out, see if the bears were on their feet moving, and it didn't take any time at all. And he killed both his bears on day one. Let's join up with Jamie and Matt for their recovery. And I tell you what, I know Jamie is excited to get out there for his first day of hunting. Let's check in with the guys. Well, congratulations. Thanks. I'm sorry you didn't wait on me to get you on film but looks like you didn't waste no time first night in whenever you got the camera rolling you know i'd miss them both <laughs> so i couldn't wait that's all right so now you shot one off the pole or climbing a tree well he just yeah he was climbing a tree and he's just kind of right there in front of me and i figured he couldn't run away if he was on the tree <laughs> we're just ready to give up and um, can't hurt something jump in the bushes over there and it was uh, it was him well it's nice two bears they're good bears they're gonna make good rugs i can tell you that for sure it's a little mind-boggling, though, that you can shoot two bears in less than three hours. <laughs> well, Ron, at North Country Outfitting, that's what you'll see, so I guess we'll go skin them and get with it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. We're getting another camera set set, so I always like to have a second point of view, so I'm putting this support in for my extra camera. What I like to do is I got human scent, so the only way I know to mask it. Well, can't say we don't try hard. They say there's a big one in here. We're gonna wait it out and see. We didn't see nothing yesterday, but shoot, we're back. If he's back, it's whack him time. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Bad Boy Buggies, Bushnell Optics, The Laws of Performance, Hunter Safety System, Spy Point and most innovative trail and action cameras, True Glow, Whack'em Broadheads, Conquest Sense, Realtree, Family, Friends and the Outdoors, Elite Archery, 
the world's most shootable bow. Fusion ammunition, tough, accurate, lethal. 10-point crossbows, thermocell, nature blinds, Otis Technologies, and Pete Shoe Dryer. You couldn't tell I changed my mind. <laughs> More I got to think about that beautiful blonde coat on that thing. Decided I was gonna take him, came back. We still got daylight and supposedly another big one in here, so we're gonna reload and get ready. I think I heard the death groan. So we should be good. Couldn't resist, it came back. It's a oh, it had somewhere right in here. Yep. Yeah, right there it is. Yep. It's got blood on it. Oh, right through, yeah. So we got to pass through. See how that head, oh, yeah. little Wacom head, oh, held up good. Oh, yeah, yeah. It made a good. Dang. Yeah, that's it. You get yourself a blonde, buddy. <laughs> that is my first blind one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did. I center punch. Look at that. Perfect right through there. Well, look at the hair on him. That's why he wasn't oh bleeding much. Oh my gosh. He did. I mean, he's just so thick. Yeah. And he had, uh, he was darker <laughs> on his legs. He's that nice. Got there. some pretty big old paws there. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's load oh, up and get on out here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Flex Tone Electronic Predator Calls. Get them close this season. Wheeler Engineering, the most comprehensive line of fine gunsmithing supplies. Evolve Harvest, Throw and Grow, the no-till formula. Grow more groceries per acre. Shoot NC reactive targets. Shoot more, shoot better. Crossbreed holsters, carry concealed, carry comfortably, carry the cross. 
Welcome back to Savage Outdoors. I want to take a quick second and tell you about something that I did and you need to get to your local pro shop and try it too. I listened to the folks at Elite Archery and took the Elite Shootability Challenge. I've got the Energy 35 here. This is the smoothest drawn, best shooting bow I've ever put in my hands. But don't take my word for it. Go to your local pro shop, take the Elite Shootability Challenge and shoot an Elite today. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. Well, Alberta has got a ton of game. You're sitting on these baits, you just never know what you're gonna see. And Jamie gets a special treat on this hunt. He gets to see a wolf. He almost gets a shot at this wolf. He's got a tag in his pocket and this wolf just skirts through this thick timber. Wolves are pretty sneaky animals. They don't like to be seen very much. And this wolf kind of shows that off. I tell you, cool encounter and it shows you, you just never know what might come in. Well, we got one under a belt, a nice cinnamon, a little bit of blind mixed in, but. Last night was a good night in camp. We had a lot of people harvest a bear. Uh, a couple of blinds, black bear, mine. Zohan still haven't got one yet. Matt Kansas tagged out the first night with two. So, so far it's been a good week. So we're in a new spot. They say it's been getting hit hard. They're not sure what's in here. So we're here to seek and destroy. One thing Canada has is no shortage of wildlife. We need to stand, you gotta be as quiet as you can be. We had a wolf pass us. He was out there a little ways, but if I'd had the savage rifle, a little lightweight hunter, I'd let that boy bark and we'd have us a wolf. I got a wolf tag. I buy extra tags every time I come in the woods because you never know what you're gonna see. That's a prime example. We got a big front moving in, it's just starting to drizzle rain a bit. It was exciting though. We did have a wolf come by us and a moose. Then we had that crazy bear come in. I don't know what his deal was. I was hoping the big one was behind it. We got several more days to get us a big bear. So we'll keep after it. That was amazing getting to see a wolf moose and a bear all in the same sit. I'm telling you, there's a ton of game up here and it's so exciting when you're sitting on these baits just not knowing what's gonna come out next. They've been telling Jamie about a giant bear on this one bait. They've got the spy point trail cams out. They're getting pictures of him. Jamie's gonna hold out and hopefully this big bear is gonna show up. I get asked all the time, what trail cams are you using and why do you use them? Well, the answer to that is spy point cameras. Uh, the reason we use them is because they always work. And literally, once I have all my settings set, all I do is push this camera to the on position, shut the door, make sure that I've got it aimed just like I want it, red lights blinking, I walk away and the camera's gonna work. And I mean, they work like they're supposed to. They don't miss pictures. Spy point cameras, check them out. Let's get back to the show. Hey, welcome back to Savage Outdoors. I have a question for you. Why would you shoot a mechanical broadhead ever if you have a fixed blade that will fly as good or better than any mechanical in the industry? Cut on impact and two holes are better than one. You're gonna get that pass through with that fixed blade broadhead. Check out Wacom Broadheads.
that's what we've been waiting on. That little one come in. I didn't think he'd come in that quick, but gosh. Whew, thank you, Lord. I don't know if he went down, but I might have hit him a little bit back, so I'm going to sit tight, call him, let him know. Looking at the footage, it looks like I hit him back, so I talked to the guy. Jeff said, so get out, so we got out as quick as we could. We'll head back and give it overnight, come back first thing in the morning. Broad heads and tie. It's all slimy though. Greasy. Got blood here, but haven't had any blood coming down through here, so my worst fear. Back, back too far. Hey man, did you see anything? Uh, went a ways. Saw some. I saw where he went, but uh, he went a ways. I'll tell you, he went up over a ridge. I don't know, half a mile away. He looked like he was going pretty good. Yeah. I don't think I nick when looking at the air, you know, it being greasy. Yeah. And even though that lung comes to that point back there, I don't... Well, you know, you get that high point, you know, you got your backbone and down, you got a kind of a, kind of a no-kill zone. Yeah. And it, I, I mean, we couldn't even find a drop of blood anywhere. And just the way his, his pads were going, I mean, he just kept on trucking. I mean, he could live. He might live if he didn't. I don't know if he hit anything vital. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Well, calling off the hunt for that bear is probably the hardest thing I had to do. I felt terrible about it, but at the same time, I felt better that the bear probably lived because we had an arrow that was greasy, a little bit of blood on the fletchings, but we found no blood nowhere, no guts, no nothing. So I think I was in that no-kill zone and missed those lungs. So it's more about shot placement and me being a little more patient. But after hunting that morning and coming back and hunting again that afternoon with no signs nowhere, it was a thing to do, call off the hunt. And they got trail cams out, so hopefully, the Lord willing, we'll see that thing back on trail cam here in a couple weeks. And they'll give me a call, made me feel a whole lot better. Man, what a great week of hunting here at North Country Outfit. And I tell you, if you want a great bear hunt, give these folks a call. Jamie's been coming here for years, and we've killed some great bears over the years here hunting with Ronna Mae McDonald. It's a perfect hunt for getting on big bears. They've got them for sure. Hunt starts off great. Matt Kenseth comes in first day before Jamie even gets there and kills two bears on his first time out with the bow. Awesome hunt. Jamie gets there in time to recover the bears and then Jamie goes out and he is able to kill his first color phase bear. He's wanted one for years. You know, one in three bears basically up here in this country is a color phase. And Jamie's just never really had a good opportunity at a good color phase bear. He got it this year. He was able to get his bear and then bear number two. He was hunting a pure giant. They were seeing him on the spy point cameras. He got his opportunity. You know, we've all done it. He just hit him a little bit high and too far back, kind of in that no man's land. And I really think that bear is gonna be fine. I think he's gonna show back up on the trail cams. The guys did everything they could do to find him. And I just don't think he's hit hard. Uh, tough break, but maybe that bear will be here next year when Jamie comes back and he can get back after him. Thanks for watching Savage Outdoors. We'll see you next week. This segment of Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Evolved Harvest Premium Forage Seed. This is not your row crop seed bought at a co-op. This forage seed doesn't die once it's nipped. Evolved Harvest continues to grow all season long, producing more groceries per acre and ultimately more deer on your land to hunt. The folks at Flexstone Game Calls have come out with a line of predator calls, mouth calls that are easy to use. Anybody can use these. I've got the dying rabbit here. I'm telling you, if you're hunting coyotes or bobcats, any predator, any time of the year, this is a great call to use. I especially love to do it in those winter months when they're super hungry, they're gonna come. Get on it, call hard, but in short bursts, and you should have some predators coming in. The Dying Rabbit Call from Flexstone Game Calls. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy. Field and stream, where traditions begin. Bad boy buggies. Bushnell Optics, the laws of performance, hunter safety system, spy point and most innovative trail and action camera, true glow, 10 point crossbows, conquest sense, Wackham broadheads, elite archery, the world's most shootable bow, can cooker, Field and stream, fusion ammunition, tough, accurate, lethal, thermocell, nature blinds, and P3 
Pete Shoe Dryer.